Hey guys, it's me, Uni. Um, I'm here with the 30 Days of Sim Making Challenge thingy. Um, I found this on Tumblr. Well, I didn't find it. A friend of mine has been doing this challenge, Leo Bear. And I was inspired by it and decided that I should try the challenge too. So, what this is, is in the 30 days of sim making, is that there is a list on Tumblr where it says each day, like, what you're supposed to do. Like, for instance, day one is sim self. So right now, as you can see, I'm missing with eyebrows and eyes for my sim self. And this was actually very, very hard for me because I've tried to make myself in sim form hundreds of times. And now, like, as I'm voiceovering this and looking at the sim, there are some things I wish I could change. And I might bring it up later in the video, like, there's parts about the nose and the eyes and the, maybe the chin. Maybe I'll just have to see as we go along, but yeah, so this is basically the challenge and I'm going to try really, really hard to keep up with this and do this <laughs> because miraculously my, uh, my screen recorder, when it finally loads up in my editing software and I know I can be ready to export and everything, it miraculously just looks really nice and it's not choppy at all so that made me really really happy also I noticed I used the same hair uh, twice in a row for two different sims as I was making the thumbnail I realized this and I was like no they're gonna think I use that hair all the time I actually just got this hair and I love this hair Oh, and there with the eyes, I was just messing around to see like what I what I look like with the brown eyes because I have blue eyes, and I don't know. I've always liked brown eyes. Like my mom has brown eyes, and I love brown eyes. So I used to be like, why can't I have brown eyes? I want brown eyes. But I liked my blue eyes. They actually changed different shades of blue. Like they go from like a really really dark gray like once they almost even look black to me and then they'll go to like a turquoise blue I mean it's really rare that they change so drastically but yeah they're usually more of like a dark sea-ish blue or like the blue in the cast like down at the, the left corner that blue maybe or yeah, I have to sneeze. I feel it. The last time I tried to do this voiceover, I had to cough. And I am talking so incredibly fast. But uh, for the outfits here, I was jump jumping around and I was like, oh, I should probably do her body. My, well, my body. Her body. Right? Her body? Yeah. I don't know, it's confusing. But I was doing my body and uh, I tried to do it as realistic as I can but to me all sims either look really chubby or really skinny and I'm like and uh, I guess I'm only chunky in certain parts of my body I guess so it's kind of hard to do that but she still looks so skinny but yeah, I was messing with some hairs that I actually just downloaded right before this video. But I ended up sticking with the same hair that I have now on her. And to me, the outfits were really hard because I was messing with things that I have. And some of the CC uh, jeans that I have, um, they make the skin dark. Like, I don't know, it's like a malfunction with the jeans. I don't know if I put any on her, but... She would look like she has a really dark tan, and knowing me and my skin, I can never tan, 
so I couldn't let her put um, those jeans on. Also with the face, I have a little bit of freckles, but they're not hugely noticeable, and yeah, I don't really like the freckles they put in the game, not even in The Sims 3, but The Sims 4, they're a little better, so I don't know. You could put freckles on her if you want, but mm, I don't think I'm going to if I ever play with her. But oh my gosh, this shirt. This shirt from the base game. I love that shirt so much. Like so, so, so much. It's a beautiful shirt. I was actually wearing like a black version of that yesterday when I originally recorded this. <laughs> I noticed it after I made the sim. I was like looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, oh, I'm wearing basically the same shirt. And here I was messing around a lot. Like I have some, I have some wedding dresses that I found on the Sim Resource, and I fell in love. And I was like, oh, my Sim looks so beautiful. I wonder if I'll look this beautiful in my wedding dress in the future. And I was just being silly and messing with some wedding hair. And yeah, the colors of the wedding hair are actually quite nice. I don't know if I go through any of them, but they're actually very nice, and I love that hair. It looks like really regal, like royalish to me. Like, um, if you ever watch Rain, not like Rain falling down, but like Long May, Long May She Rain. Oh my gosh, it makes me think of uh, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? <gasps> Why can't I think of her name? Ugh. The girl that ends up becoming a mistress to King Henry. And then she ends up marrying Henry's son. What is his name? Oh my god. Bash. Bash. She ends up marrying Bash. And anyway, this is really our topic. But anyway, that hair just makes me think of. Her, I want Kenna? Kenna, her name's Kenna, Kenna. That hair makes me think of Kenna so much. Damn, I'm, I'm done rambling about rain now. And there's an airplane outside. It's probably really loud, and you guys probably hear my fan too. I actually had to turn off my air conditioning just so the noise isn't in the background. And oh my gosh. The party wear, I would totally wear something like this in real life. Like if I had like a nice body and nice, you know, I don't, I don't know what to call them. Cause, mm. but do you know what I mean? Where the cut is on the dress? Oh, and the dark makeup, the cut, the dark makeup, just the dark lips, and the fedora. Oh, I love, love fedoras. I love wearing fedoras. Oh my gosh, and that necklace, the pearl necklace, just tops it all off for me. I love, 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 love. And this Kara's hair. Kara. Not Kara. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm all, I'm so all over the place in this. But anyway, here is the swimsuit. I actually have had the swimsuit for a very long time. I really like it. I think it would totally be something I'd wear because I love floral and then just the orange. Except I, in real life, would probably need something with straps, knowing me, because this is actually strapless. And then there's me with sunscreen because I need it so I won't burn in the sun. And I actually do end up changing the outfit back to this florally, florally dress. Oh, I love it. I would totally wear this dress in real life, but it's so short, so I had to give her some white leggings underneath. I think at this point I was like debating right now whether or not she should wear what I had her in before, and I was just fixing the weight and everything. And then I realized she kind of looked pregnant, so I was like flat stomach. Meh. I don't have a lot of snacks, so I was like, ah, 
Now I'm just messing with my voice because I, I don't know, I have a raspy, deepy voice, but it's not insanely deep. Like, it's, it's not like this. God, I'm such a dork. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> um, for me, aspiration was hard because I'm more of like that family person, but like, I also want that like fairy tale love story thing going on. So I kind of made her both because I am family orientated and I'm, I'm a real big geek with sci fi stuff and I love to read novels and everything. So it's like bookworm and geek in one. So I took that trait and I'm very ambitious, except. I'm a huge procrastinator, and procrastinating is not a trait. And I didn't put my actual name, because you know, it, it's my actual name, I didn't feel comfortable with it. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoy, and here I am showing you guys the outfits again and tweaking her a little. And I hope you guys enjoy, like I just said like two seconds ago, and I'll see you guys in the next part of this challenge. Yeah, in the next part. Bye, guys.